Phoenix police armed with body cameras. Good evening, Arizona. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Lee. And I'm Heather Moore. A pilot program shows officers who wore body cameras had a big impact on the number of people found guilty of crimes. Jason Valentine joins us with the results of a recent test program. Jason? That's right. Among other things, the study tracked more than 2,000 domestic violence investigations and found that in cases where police were wearing a body camera, there were better rates of convictions and guilty pleas. Just one of several trends police and others are noticing, not only here in the Valley, but across the state. Police body cameras have sometimes brought us dramatic video, but it's everyday patrolling where this new tech has really changed the conversation on police abuse of power, according to Mesa PD. Their officers have been wearing body cams since 2011. There have been occasions where we have shown uh, the accuser that information, shown them the actual video footage of their contact, and they chose not to make a complaint anymore at that point, um, where the allegation was clearly uh, not what they said it was. Phoenix police just wrapped up an ASU study on body cams that started in 2013. That study found complaints against officers who wear body cameras dropped 23%, while complaints against officers without them rose 11%. And now State Representative Reginald Boulding just introduced House Bill 2511 that would require every law enforcement officer in the state to wear a camera. When you have body cameras, you have an extra set of eyes, another pair of, of eyes that's there that's currently providing trust from a standpoint that we're often at this time where it's one person's word against the others. One of the biggest hurdles to Boulding's bill would be funding and he admits that has yet to be worked out. But overall body cams seem to be getting good reviews everywhere they roll. It simply levels the playing field for everyone. Um, whether you're the officer wearing the camera or the person on the other side of the camera, again it's not going to take sides, it's just going to capture the information. Now, the Phoenix study on body cams is actually still ongoing tonight as more of a progress report on what police are finding out. Either way, it's here at Cortez High School in about a half an hour, and anyone in the public is welcome to join. Guys, back to you.